Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. It is Julie here with your TipRank's pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news. We have a handful of big earnings reports to look at, and we'll see which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just a heads up, I know I just got back from vacation last week, but I do have a knee surgery on Thursday, so I'll be taking Thursday and Friday off this week and hope to be back with you on Monday. I should be able to hobble into my office by then. Uh, so I apologize, another short week, but we'll be back to normal routine after that. Don't forget to download that TipRank's mobile app so you can access the wisdom of thousands of Wall Street analysts on the go. Links will be in the description down below. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the red so far this morning. Right now, Dow futures are down 0.30%. S&P 500 futures down 0.25% and Nasdaq futures down 0.37%. Amazon is diving deeper into the healthcare world as they launch their generic prescription service. They said, we are excited to introduce RX Pass, a new Prime membership benefit from Amazon Pharmacy that provides patients with affordable access to generic medications that treat more than 80 common health conditions for just $5 a month. With RX Pass, Prime members can get as many eligible medications as they need for one flat low fee of $5 and have them conveniently delivered free to their door. Amazon is currently rated a strong buy from the Wall Street analysts with an average upside of 36%. And it's being reported that Tesla plans on building a $3.5 billion manufacturing facility in Nevada for its electric semi-trucks. The Nevada Independent reported plans for the facility, adding that it was unclear if the state will offer tax breaks or other incentives to Tesla. An official announcement is likely to be made today in a ceremony that will take place at the site of the new plant. Analysts currently rate the Tesla stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 30%. And that's about it for big news so far this morning, so let's move right along to notable earnings reports as we have a bunch. We've had a busy morning already, and soon we'll be hearing from companies like Verizon Communications and Lockheed Martin. The After Hours has some big names, the biggest being Microsoft. We'll also hear from Texas Instruments and Intuitive Surgical. Already in the pre-market this morning, we've heard from Johnson & Johnson, who did beat on earnings but miss on revenue. Their fourth quarter earnings per share came in at $2.35, beating estimates by $0.11 cents per share, and revenue of $23.7 billion did fall over 4% year-over-year, falling short by $200 million. For their fiscal 2023 guidance, they're expecting earnings per share of $10.45 to $10.65, which is ahead of analyst estimates. Analysts currently rate the stock a moderate buy, with an average upside of about 12.5%. We've heard from 3M. They missed on earnings but beat on revenue and announced that they would be cutting 2,500 manufacturing roles. Their earnings of $2.28 per share was 11 cents shy of estimates, and revenue of $8.1 billion came in just $10 million ahead of estimates. 3M attributed their slower-than-expected growth to rapid declines in consumer-facing markets along with significant slowing in China due to COVID-related disruptions. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate sell, with an average downside of 2%. We also heard from General Electric, also coming in with mixed results, beating on earnings and missing on revenue. Their revenue of $21.8 billion was up 7% year-over-year, but $310 million shy of estimates, and their Q4 earnings per share came in at $1.24, which was $0.08 cents ahead of estimates. The company saw their profits rise as they said demand for jet engines and power equipment rose. Analysts currently rate the GE stock a strong buy with a slight upside of 2%. And last but not least, we have Halliburton also coming in with mixed results. We had no clear beats this morning. Uh, they beat on earnings but did miss on revenue. Their earnings per share of $0.72 cents was $0.05 cents ahead of estimates, and revenue of $5.58 billion grew 30% year-over-year but was just $10 million shy of expectations. The company also lifted their dividend by $0.33 cents per share. 
Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 18%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by High Peak Energy after the company said that they would explore a sale. Trading under the ticker HPK, the stock is currently up about 14%. They're followed by Sassel under SSL up 5.64% and Ivoric Bio under ISEE up 3.8%. And our biggest losers this morning are led by 3M following their earnings. Trading under the ticker MMM, the stock is down 4.62%. They're followed by Toast Incorporated under TOST down 3.8% and Magna International under MGA down 3.57%. So that is going to be everything for Tuesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.